All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa Shai. Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa Shai. Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa Shai. Call Hala Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akim, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to rot the Zah. It'll be um, edifying as usual. I'm going to go in the uh, Raqqa Kwadash, all right? Uh, for the record, today's date is April 14th, uh, 2021, the year of hastening, the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, all right? And I'm going to play this video. It's real short. It's off of um, WPLG Local 10. It reads, uh, Woman killed in Miami. Eviction case had threatened other... Woman killed in Miami. Eviction case had threatened other residents. Neighbors said. Um, yeah, woman killed in Miami. Eviction case had threatened... I don't, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. But basically, this um, appears... To, what appears to be a... Uh, Edomite uh, female, okay, and I guess she's, and I'm going to play the article, I'm going to play the video, but, um, you know, uh, this scripture is what, really, I just wanted to highlight this scripture, man, because we're in these times, man, beautiful, beautiful times, the downfall of our enemy, all right, so this is a Deuteronomy 30 and 7 is the main point, but I'm going to start at the top, and as you can see, um, with the blue letter uh, uh, titled it, restoration promised hey, and that's that's the that's the good news man <laughs> we're almost out of here our bid is up man our redemption is nigh you know the, you know we know the scriptures say through much tribulation we're going to enter into the kingdom but hey hey fuck it man at least we're going to be able to rest and we're going to be able to rest forever okay which how about you was shy okay and that's what we're waiting on and we that's why we give diligence you know hey but we're in these times man we're at the times of the end and like it says in verse 7, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is putting all these curses that fell upon us, upon them that hate us, man. And a res restoration is promised, man. You know, restoration is promised. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to redeem us. He's going to redeem his elect, his chosen, you know, and recompense the heathen round about, man. You know, Deuteronomy 30 and 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind, okay? Because what? We, we knew this once, you know? We were brought into remembrance, you know? It says, I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord Yahweh thy power hath driven thee, because remember, Yasharala, we're scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. You're going to have Israelites that are going to come back looking like some of the heathen nations, because their seed, you know, their lineage, according to their fathers, the patriarch, because the man carries the seed, their lineage goes back to one of the 12 patriarchs, man, one of the 12 tribes, you know? But again, it says Deuteronomy 30 and 1, and this is a promise. And how about you, how shy? They're not men that they should lie, you know? It's drawing nigh, it's close. We're almost out of here, man. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which, which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind, all the nations, and, and, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whither the Lord Yahweh thy power have driven thee, and sh and shall return unto the Lord Yahweh thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I commanded thee this day, thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Lord Yahweh thy power have scattered thee, all right, and it's starting to happen now, you know, how is that through the men, you know, and this word, this word is sealing us, it's sealing the elect, you know, you know, the kingdom of, of heaven is within us, it starts with us, we are new Jerusalem, you know, you know, so it's, hey, we see it now, how about you, Shai is lifting up that standard, He's refining us, reproving, reproving us, you know, setting us in order in front of our enemies, man. We're in these times, man. It's beautiful times. It says, and if any, and, and that's all throughout the four corners of the earth, because you got brothers and the few sisters all throughout the four corners of the earth waking up to the true knowledge of who they are 
and their power, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, who their enemy is, you know, and this 100% truth, you know. It says, it says um, if any, verse 4, if any of thine be driven out unto the utter, unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord Yahweh thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Hey, that's why you got brothers in Australia. You got brothers all over, man. You know, it says, and the Lord Yahweh, thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed. This hasn't happened yet. This is a future prophecy, but we in the beginning stages of it, you know. But again, remember, through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom. You know, we got to go through that Jacob's trouble. We got to go through the hour temptation, the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, you know. The third's woe, so on and so forth. A handful of prophecies still have to be have to play out, man. But like I said, it's only a handful. You know, a handful of prophecies were waiting to play out. And the Lord Yahweh thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it. Hey, not no bow for a f fucking declaration, man. Yahweh Bashim Shai is gonna bring us into the land, you know? And the Lord Yahweh thy power will bring thee into the land which which thy fathers possessed. And thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good, and multiply thy fathers above thee. And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power will circumcise thine heart. That's the new covenant, okay? That's the laws being put in our inward part, you know? That's us being made perfect, you know? When we get them new bodies, when we get beamed up in the chariots, man, with Yahweh, but you know, shy, Lord's willing, we be those men and those women. We keep enduring, man, you know? And the Lord Jehovah, thy power will circumcise. Yeah, we're going to be perfect, man. Get them extraterrestrial bodies. And the Lord Jehovah, thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord. Hey, that's why we said even the two-thirds, man. Salakia. Because the two-thirds, even though they're going to experience death by pain, and they're going to experience a horrific death on this side, they're going to come back through the loins of the elect in the kingdom. And they're going to be perfect because we're going to be perfect and we're going to have the new covenant in us. You see? You see? And it's, it's, it's promised, man. You know, it's promised. That's what all the apostles, the, the, the disciples were looking for. Restoration. Will you yet restore the kingdom unto Israel? You know? That's what we're looking for. And that, that day's drawing nigh, baby. You can taste it. Victory is, is nigh. It's close. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You know? And the Lord Jehovah, thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed, thy seed, okay, because it's, it's, it's about the blood, the bloodline, the lineage, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, you know? And the Lord Jehovah, thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord Jehovah, thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. Yeah, because we ain't living now, man. We ain't living. This ain't life, man. This is hell, you know? You know? It's the main point, though. Deuteronomy 30 and 7, you know? And the Lord, Jehovah, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies. And who's our chief adversary? Who's our chief enemy? Esau, Edom. And the Lord, Jehovah, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord, Jehovah, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies uh, and on them that hate thee which persecuted thee you see and we in, we can see that that's starting to happen man we in a, we in a, um the transition in a, 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 a powers man you know a changing of the guard man you know prime example is is this woman here from Miami again uh, it's kind of whoever wrote this man i don't know but it says woman killed in Miami eviction case had threatened, oh, okay, it's lucky. Woman killed in Miami eviction case had threatened other residents, neighbors said. All right, so it's, again, off of WPLG Local 10. And I'm going to play the video and I'll close out, man. But hey, you can see it, man. We in these times, man. Beautiful times, man. Miami, so this is Florida. This is a, a back in the day, this would be, I guess, a, a so called Southern Bell, you know? You know, motherfuckers were getting put to death for whistling at her, man. You know? You know, they couldn't do no wrong. Back in the day, you know, you know, what well, what's that do? Emmett Till, you got put to death for allegedly whistling at a so-called white woman. You know, they couldn't do no wrong, especially down here in the South. But but look how low they fell, and that sh this is showing you how the grinding is low. Everybody's feeling it, man. If she's feeling it, how much more so you, Jakes, man? You know, you know, we at the end.
This place is through. You know, all hell is about to break loose, man. Any day now, it's a big bubble that's about to pop. The facade, the economy's about to collapse. The famine, race war, all hell is going to break loose, man. Especially once Esau Edom comes hard body and just makes that chip mandatory, man. Which is, is nice, close, you can see it. Alright? So here we go. Now we're learning more about the woman who opened fire on police. When they went to evict her, we're told she had been squatting in the high-rise apartment for a year. Local 10 News... Man, Becky was catching hell for a while. Look how low Becky fell. For a year, she's been squatting, you know? Now we're learning more about the woman who opened fire on police. When they went to evict her, we're told she had been squatting in the high-rise apartment for a year. Local 10 News investigator Amy Vettieri live now with what she's uncovered today. Amy. Well, we are told that woman never had a lease but had been staying here for about a year after visiting a friend who no longer lives in that unit. Well, since then, police have been called to that particular apartment nearly two dozen times. One neighbor says that woman had previously pulled a gun on people living here, and police say that's what she did when they showed up yesterday to evict her. And they actually sent us a paper this morning that said an incident occurred. Miami-Dade officers serving an eviction warrant inside a Brickell apartment building Tuesday were aware of potential dangers. They evacuated the floor and shut off elevators before knocking on the door of the apartment where 40-year-old Stephanie Voiken had been living on the 22nd floor. My dad heard a few gunshots because they only live about seven floors above us. Police say when Voiken refused to open, they forced their way inside. That's when she allegedly opened fire and officers shot back. <laughs> Cruz rushed Voiken to the hospital, but she died from her injuries. Saw her once in the elevator and she was kind of like standoffish, a little bit aggressive, like not very like friendly, you know. Local 10 obtained police records showing around 21 calls for various disturbances since early last year to the unit where Voiken lived. Management at Brickle First Apartments sent this letter to residents saying she had been squatting after a prior resident temporarily let her stay in the unit at the start of the pandemic. A source tells us she never had a lease. I know the woman really like kept to herself and she had a couple of pets. Records show Voiken has been evicted before and has a history of arrests, including an incident in 2019 at the Surf Comer Hotel in Miami Beach, where officers charged her with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest when she allegedly refused to leave a man's room. Now, FDLE now handling the investigation into this officer-involved shooting. Miami-Dade police have created a specific task force to deal with evictions, and we requested numbers from the county to get a sense of where things currently stand. We learned since March of 2020, about 10,524 eviction cases have been filed. Look at that. You see, because we in them times, man. You know, man, we in them times. And if it's affecting these Edomites, how much more the average Jake, you know? You know? 24 eviction cases have been filed, and that includes both residential and non-residential, and the number of those still pending today. For residential and non-residential, meaning that it's, it's businesses also. A lot of these businesses aren't playing their, their leases, you know? This place is through, man. This place, you know, this, oh, I can't wait. Oh, man. It can't, it, this place can't fall quick enough, man. We requested numbers from the county to get a sense of where things currently stand. We learned since March of 2020, about 10,524 eviction cases have been filed. And that includes both residential and non-residential. And the number of those still pending today, 4,067. We're live in Brickell. Amy Viteri, local... Yeah, we in them times, baby. All right, I'm going to close out again. Again, straight to the point, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power will put all, all, not some, but all these curses. Hey, they're going to get double the cup, man. Double the cup, man. And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. You know? Hey, so we in them times, baby. Repent. We're real close, man. Shalom. Wa abad babal.